Hello, you are welcome how to solve this Olympiad problem x raised to power 3 minus y raised to power 3 equals to 91. Like this video and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you. From here, let's look at this identity a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3 equals to a minus b then multiply by a square plus a b plus b square so when we make use of this identity on the left hand side and this will become x minus y then multiply by x square plus x y plus y square then equals to 91 then let's see the possible cases we have from here two numbers multiply and give us 91 so it's possible we have the following that is we might have 1 multiplied by 91 and then this same thing as 91 and then we might have minus 1 times minus 91 and then this same thing as 91 as well then we might have 7 multiplied by 13. We have 7 multiplied by 13. This is 91. And uh, equally, we might have minus 7 multiplied by minus 13. This thing is the same thing as 91. Now, which of this one will satisfy this? Now, let's look at this. From the second bracket here, we have s square. It'll be a positive number, then y square will be a positive number. So of course x y. When we so when we add it to this, that means this bracket will be positive. And then from here as well we have x minus y. So this bracket as well will be positive. So far this is positive. For us to have positive result, the other bracket too has to be positive because we have positive 91 here. So it's either we have positive positive or negative negative. So this bracket as well is positive. Then when you look at this bracket closely, we discover that x minus y is of course less than this. So this second bracket is you know greater than this. Therefore, from there we can rule this one out because we have minus here. We can rule that one out and Similarly from here, we can rule this one out. So the two cases we have now is the first, you know, case here and the third one here. So by the time we work with that from here, so we equate from here, we have x minus y is equal to 1. Or we have x square and x square plus xy plus y square is equal to 91 so that's the first case and uh, the second case that we have from here is when we have x minus y is equal to 7 that's the first being 7 and the second one x square plus xy plus y square is equal to 13 and by the time we solve from here let's solve on the first case here we have here when we take you know y to this place we can write this as x equals to 1 plus y 1 plus y so we have an equation here because minus y will become plus then solving from here factorize this and split it as x square plus 3xy minus 2xy then plus y squared equals to 91 because 3xy minus 2xy gives us xy here then from here when we regroup this we write it again as x square minus 2xy plus y squared 
then plus 3xy equals to 91. From here, the first three terms here, we can write it simply as x minus y all squared. The expansion of this will give us these first three terms. Then plus 3xy is equals to 91. And we discover that xy is equals to 1 from here. So we, here we can say this is 1 square, which is still 1. That's 1 plus 3xy is equals to 91. And taking 1 to this side become minus. So here we have 91 minus 1, which is 3xy equals to 90. Dividing both sides by 3, this remains xy equals to 90 divided by 3. That's 30. And since the value of x, same thing as 1 plus y. So we can substitute x as 1 plus y. And we have 1 plus y multiplied by y, then equals to 30. Expanding this, this gives us y plus y squared equals to 30. Then rearranging and bringing 30. Rearranging and bringing 30 to this side. We have y squared plus y, then minus 30 equals to 0. This also is a quadratic equation that also we can factorize from here. And this will give us y squared plus 6y minus 5y minus 30 equals to 0. Then when we factorize, when we group 2, 2 from here, we have y out, then y plus 6, then minus 5 out here, then we also have y plus 6, then equals to 0. And then when we look at this, y plus 6, y plus 6, that's y plus 6, then multiply by y minus 5 equals to 0. So in this case, we have two possible, you know, we have y plus 6. Is it that y plus 6 equals 0 or we have y minus 5 equals to 0. So for here we have y equals to minus 6 and here we have y equals to 5. So these are the value of y here. Then from that equation that we have x equals to 1 plus y, we can get the corresponding value of x here. And uh, here x will now be equal to 1 plus minus 6. That's 1 minus 6. And then we have x equals to minus 5. So we have x to be minus 5 and y to be minus 6. Then from here as well, x will then be equal to 1 plus y. So that's 1 plus 5. Therefore, x here is equal to 6. So here we have x equals to 6 and y equals to 5. So now we can solve from the second case that we have here. That is... We have x minus y equals to 7 and the x squared plus xy plus y squared equals to 13. Also from here, we can say that x equals to 7 plus y. So x here equals to 7 plus y. When we take minus, you know, y to that side become plus. Then we can replace x as 7 plus y. So this becomes 7 plus y then squared. Then plus x multiplied by, you know, x multiplied by y. That's 7 plus y times y. So I can say this is 7 plus y. Then times y. Then plus y squared equals to 13. Right in time of y now. Then by the time we expand. Expansion of this gives us 49. Then plus 2 times 7 times y. That's plus 14y then plus y squared then when we expand this this will give us plus 7y plus y squared then plus this y squared now then equals to 13 and from here by the time we solve this we have y square y square y square when we had it that's 3y square 3y square then we have 14y plus 7y that's plus 21y then we have plus 49. Then when we take 13 here, we go minus 13. So 49 minus 13, that gives us plus 36, then equals to 0. And uh, looking at this, 3 can also go through here. 
dividing through by 3 this becomes y square plus 7y plus 12 equals to 0 and equally we can factorize and we have 7 y square from here y square plus 3y plus 4y then plus 12 will be equal to 0 then we have factorized this then from here in grouping this one to two we have y into bracket y plus 3 then plus 4 into bracket y plus 3 as well then equals to 0 then here we have y plus 3 multiplied by y plus 4 equals to 0 and the is it that y plus 3 equals to 0 or we have y plus 4 equals to 0. So when we solve, here y equals to minus 3 and here y equals to minus 4. And then from this equation that we have as x equals to 7 plus y. So when we use it here and we have x equals to 7 plus y. So for this first case here, that means y y is minus 3 that means x equals to 7 plus minus 3 that's 7 minus 3 so x equals to 4 for this case we have x equals to 4 and then for this side we also we also have the value of x to be 7 plus y so x equals to 7 plus minus so that's minus 4 so x equals to 3 so now we can conclude that these are the values that is the solution that we have from here from this first case, we have x to be minus 5y to be 6. So we have x comma y here to be equals to minus 5 comma minus 6. That's x then y. So also x y here is equals to x equals to 6 and then y is equals to 5. So we have 6 comma 5 and uh, from here as well we have s equals to 4 and y equals to minus 3 so s comma y from here is equals to 4 comma minus 3 then also from here we have x to be 3 y to be minus 4 so the last one yes comma y equals to 3 comma minus 4 then these are the solution to this problem we can put any of this in the equation to check whether this will satisfy Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share this video and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next class and bye for now.